the Orton effect is a cool effect to create a dreamy atmosphere. Let's explore an upgraded approach to applying the Orton effect. We will start off by making two duplicates of our image. Let's hide the second duplicate for a moment. On the first duplicate, we can now add a live Gaussian blur filter. In the filter dialog, increase the radius until the image becomes quite blurry. Normally with the Orton effect, this blurred layer will be blended with the image. But in this method, we are going to utilize the second duplicate. Let's enable it first and then change the blend mode to subtract. This should create a black image where the blurred areas are shown. We are going to use this black image to blend with the original. To do that, let's group the two duplicates and use the screen blend mode on the group which effectively creates the Orton effect, where we will have a nice dreamy result. In the screen blend mode, blacks have no effect, so basically we just blended in the colored glowy areas. Pretty awesome. Now it is time to add some adjustments which will allow us to fine tune the effect. As you can see the effect is a bit too much. One thing we can do is to add a levels adjustment above the top image. By adjusting the black level, the strength of the effect can be now easily controlled. We can also decrease the output white level to control the strength of the glow. Another option would be to add a live Gaussian blur filter to the group above the image layers. By increasing the blur radius, we can smoothen down the effect of the glow, creating a more pleasing look. Here is the before and here is the after. Another way you can control the effect is by using blend ranges. When we open up the blend options of the group, we can remove the effect of the glow from the shadows by modifying the underlying composition range. Let me reset the blend range and the blend mode of the group so I can show you another alternative. Instead of using subtract blend mode for the second image layer in the group, we can also use the difference blend mode. Before doing that, I will use the merge visible to make a copy of the current effect without the levels adjustment and the Gaussian blur filter. Now that I have a copy of what we are seeing right now, I can disable this copy and use the difference blend mode. To clearly see what is happening, let's set the blend mode of the group to normal, which brings back the black image. On the second copy of the image, instead of using the subtract blend mode, I'm going to use the difference blend mode. If we compare the difference, we can clearly see that by using the difference blend mode, we get a different result, which is more glowy and stronger compared to the subtract blend mode. I can go back to the group and change the blend mode to screen to get the Orton effect back. But instead of using screen, we can also use the color dodge blend mode, which creates a much more contrasty image. Let's quickly compare this with the subtract and screen blend mode version. And here is the original. Depending on the look you are looking for, the color dodge blend mode could be an interesting alternative for the screen blend mode. If you however want a more softer look, you can switch the blend mode of the second image layer back to subtract. Let's quickly compare the subtract color dodge version to the original subtract screen version. And here is the original. Here is another example image. Instead of applying the same steps manually, I have created a macro in the InstaFilter group which can be downloaded from the description. With one click, the steps are applied and we get a nice dreamy effect. You can play around after the effect has been added to the document. For example, for more contrast, I'm going to apply a curves adjustment just above the original image. That looks amazing. Keep watching if you would like to see what I exactly did here. If you liked this video so far, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. As mentioned, to make the image more interesting, I'm going to add a curves adjustment between the original image and the effect group. In the curves adjustment, I'm going to decrease the midtones and the highlights, which on itself is not so amazing. But if I now change the blend mode to hard mix and then change the fill percentage to around 10% in the blend options, 
Have a look at that. That is pretty amazing. Here is the before. Here is the after. And finally, here is the effect without the curves adjustment. I definitely think the curves adjustment does a great job. But you also might have noticed that we lost some details in the highlights. Blend ranges to the rescue. This looks about right and we're done. Thanks again for tuning in and see you in the next video.